Hello, welcome to another episode of Coding with Nylas, the live stream where we talk about programming, APIs, and more. Uh, my name is Vlad, Silo Developer Advocate. And my name is Ram, Developer Advocate at Nylas. How are you today, Ram? I am doing good. Uh, uh, very busy. Uh, looking forward to kind of shifting gears a bit, but also excited with the live streams that we've been doing on all the latest and greatest with Nylas. Yourself? Yeah. Uh, I've been doing pretty good. Uh, the weather here is not that bad. We got like 10 degrees Celsius, although it's kind of dark. And supposedly uh, tonight is going to be like some sort of like winter something that is going to go like minus 12 or something like that. So, kind of yeah, I've been doing the same. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't impact anything like the internet or power. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But we should be good. Yeah, and almost all the snow is getting away. So that's amazing. Okay, so before we move on, let's remind people to like and subscribe. Click on the little bell to get notified. Subscribe to the channel. Like our videos. Remember, we don't have a cadence anymore. We're going to start doing this like whenever we feel like we need to do something or when you request uh, a video from us. But it's better to subscribe so you get notified or just follow us on the interwebs to know when we are doing either a new blog post or a new live stream. So today we're going to talk about something really interesting. I have done it in the past. Kind of. So today we're going to see how to create a scheduler using Python and TypePy. So TypePy is a full stack framework. Uh, we have talked about that before when I used TypePy to send an email using Nylas. Today, we're going to actually create an scheduler or some sort of a scheduler. Uh, so let me share my screen. But first, let me share TypePy's website. So share screen. So here's TypePy. It's TypePy.io. It's a really nice library, pretty powerful. Uh, people use it more for like dashboards, but I wanted to go kind of like one step beyond and do kind of like an application. So let me go to the terminal. So we're going to execute it first and then we're going to jump into the source code after that. So we're going to call it. Okay. So open up here. So it's going to say like, welcome to Black Scaler. We have a Nyla flying to the sky, and we're going to use single sign-on because this one is going to grab my personal email or my personal calendar. It's going to grab my Nylas calendar, and it's going to check uh, whatever we have free time in common so that I can schedule a meeting with myself. So I'm going to click Sign with Google. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to select my Gmail account. I'm going to verify. Yes, I want to sign to Lilas. I have four services that I want to give access to. So I'm just going to continue. And we need to wait for a sec. Here it is. So here are all the available dates and times that I have in common on my personal Gmail and on my Lilas email. So let's say today is uh, February 28th. So I had a free slot from 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1. I had a minute at 1 to 2, so you can not see it here. And it's going to go until, I think, Saturday. So I can choose any of these. For example, this. Well, actually, it's more than 10. So that's something that I thought I fixed. It shouldn't be here. It actually shouldn't show me whatever it's available. I mean, this is in the past. So this shouldn't be here at all. That's something that I need to fix when I do the blog post. But let's say I want to schedule something from 4 to 5. So I'm just going to select it. I'm going to press Setup Meeting. And it's working. The event was created successfully. So it should be scaled. So if we go back here. Is not there anymore. I just reserve it. If I go to my calendar, 
we can see that I have here an invitation. So I have a meeting with Black over myself. So today from 4 to 5. So that has been scaled. You can see here my Nana's email as the organizer, and I'm getting this on my Gmail account. So obviously, if I go back, I'm not going to see it anymore. And I have all the other available dates. Once I'm done, I'm just going to click on log out. And then I'm going to delete the grant. So if I want to scale another time, I would need to go in, sign in, accept, and follow all the flow. So let's jump into the source code. So here, what we need to do, as always, is uh, load our .emp to load our environment variables. We want to grab uh, from TimePy, we, we want gi, navigate, notify. We want to import Pendulum. Pendulum is a really cool Python library to manage dates. Uh, we also need Flask. I'm going to tell you know why. And here, we also need uh, some things for authentication, for availability and code exchange means that we want to get a grant for our email. So the first thing I want to mention here is that one particular thing about NicePy, uh, TypePy that I really like is that you actually create the GUI or the UI using Markdown. So as you can see here on the first page, I have Welcome to Black Scheduler, which is this one here. I have an image, which is Nile Space, and I also have a button with the Google image, which is this one here. And the action is going to be on um, button action. So when I press that, something is going to happen, and it's going to call page two. And page two, what it's going to do, it's going to have a selector of all the available scales. It's also going to have the button to set up the meeting and also a button to log out of the current session. So as you can see, this is the way we actually define uh, our UI on type It's very cool, just using Markdown. And here we specify the pages that we're going to use. So we're going to have our root. We're going to have page one, and we're going to have page two. So we can actually navigate between them. So the way this works is that here <coughs> we're going to call pages, which is the pages that we have. And we also going to flask, uh, call flask here. So you may wonder why I'm calling flask if I'm actually calling TypePy. That's pretty, not probably not simple, uh, but let's see. So the thing here is what we do first if we, as always, we're going to initialize our Nylas client. And when we start this, we're going to call the first page, which is going to have the authentication button. So this on action is going to call on button action. And that's what we're going to look for. Um, button action. Here. So on button action, what it's going to do, it's just going to get rid of the session because we want to re-authenticate. Here, it's going to pass all the information that we need to actually call uh, Gmail and be able to choose our email and get logged. The thing is, you see that when I click here on sign in, it's going to redirect me to a new page. So once I don't do that flow, it needs to go back into TypePy. So I don't think that's currently possible. That's why I'm using Flask as a way to do that for me. So like to grab that information back and then call TypePy again. So with that, I'm going to go, I'm going to navigate into URL, right? So that's going to allow me to do the out, which is going to go here. So let me see. It's going to go, go here into authorized. So it's going to do all the authorization. 
And after that, it's just going to redirect me to the second page. So it's going to go back into TypePy. So when I do this, I'm just going to do it for the sake of demonstration. Here's logging me in. And it showed me all the available dates. So when I call page two, we can see here that it's going to give me all the available dates, which are these ones. It's also have the schedule meeting, not setup meeting, and also the lockout. So we select one and we press setup meeting, and that is going to call on scale action, which is this one. Here, basically, we're going to grab uh, the date of the one that we selected. For example, here, it's going to grab the date. It's also going to grab the start date and the start time. And with that, what we're going to do is going to, using Pendulum, we're going to create a new timestamp for the start time and the end time. So with that, I simply need to say, OK, the title is meeting with plug. That's the location. That's the description. And we're actually going to create the event. So once the event is done, we're going to put a notification, like the event was created successfully, or there was an error created in the event. And we're also going to navigate to the same page two. Uh, but this time, obviously, the slot that we selected is not going to be there anymore. When we click on Lockout, we're simply going to destroy the session. We're going to destroy the grant. And we're going to navigate to the main page. So uh, something else here that it's worth mentioning. Uh, so here. <laughs> so when we look in, we're going to call get availability request. And that's going to grab my Nyla's email and the email that I used to log in. Right? So it's going to grab those. And it's going to give me all the meetings or all the free time that we have like a slot of one hour, and we can specify that like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour. And it's going to present that as the ones that we have available. Here, I wanted to say like what day is today. So I don't, I didn't want to show like uh, the slots that we have available from yesterday or for like the day before. It needs to be today. But ideally, it should be like from the time you're logging in. So it shouldn't show like 10 to 11 because it's already, we're already past that. But that's a quick fix. So no problem. So that kind of fit. I think it, it was a nice application to build. I really love how Type by manage things. It's pretty cool. And um, it's kind of like a way to create in your own scheduler. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. It was interesting how you used uh, Flask for the authentication. So this may be like an, an area to kind of explore or maybe a limitation of TypePy where you did the authentication in Flask just to get the redirect and then the UI you built out with TypePy. Yeah, because so you're in TypePy, you go into the Nyla space to authenticate and then it needs to come back to your application. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Somehow, so I could, yeah, I couldn't make gotcha. that work with just TypePy. But by using Flask, it was just like perfect. So That's it awesome. went to Flask and then come back to Taipei. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Um, I think it's a great use case for using the APIs, kind of create your own scheduler. You kind of share your availability, configure it how you like. And it's very simple to build with Markdown uh, yeah. using Taipei. When you have the data, you can just display it and book time. Yeah, yeah. And I was saying I just wanted to show because usually when you see type I, people use it more for like dashboards. So I wanted yeah. to showcase that you can actually use it also for like create applications of any sort. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the blog post is coming tomorrow. I want to try to fix that thing with the time because I don't like that. <laughs> it's showing 10 a.m., which has already happened. Uh, but yep. Remember that if you have 
any comments or questions regarding our blogs, you can actually go to our forums. So if you go there, you're going to see a link to each of the blog posts that we publish, and then there you can start a discussion. Okay. Awesome. So, that was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's for me for today. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you have something else to share with our viewers. Just so like and subscribe. Catch yeah. us while we are live. Uh, so you'll get notifications when we're up and on. Uh, we have blogs coming out quite a bit. We've done quite a bit. We've done a lot in the past month for our latest version of our API V3. Um, so not nothing else coming up just yet, but we will have content coming out very soon. So please like and subscribe when you get a chance. And as well, follow us on the webs at Nihilus. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can find us on YouTube, X, LinkedIn, and all the other socials. Yeah, that's right. We're working so hard with V3. I cannot remember about the last time I used V2. <laughs> it's like I completely <laughs> forgot about it. It's all V3 for me all the time. So. Yeah, yeah, check out our latest blog post on our introduction to V3 and all the content afterwards uh, that is V3 uh, related and focused. So. A lot of fun stuff coming out. Yeah, totally. So, all right. As always, thank you so much, Ram, for being here. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And see you next time, wherever that is. Thanks, Bog. That was great. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye.